I think the most important challenge is, is how we establish and maintain trust. Um, so uh, we want the users of the internet to, to understand their options, their privacy options, their trust options, but we don't want them to be overwhelmed by them. So we want an infrastructure in place that enables people to do the things they want to do in a trustworthy and privacy preserving manner. So how, um, how we do that is, is still, you know, there's a lot of work, a lot of research going on in that, and so I think it's still evolving as to what it would meant. I think we, uh, we're pretty good at building pipes and building faster pipes and providing people access. Uh, what we're not really good at yet is, is the people side of it, the, the uh, you know, looking at, you know, the needs of a global internet what people in the U.S. do versus, say, what people in Africa do, uh, how they're getting access to it. Um, you know, in, in Africa and India and places like that, um, their primary mode of getting access to the Internet is their cell phone. So how, what does that do for the Internet experience for them and how do you customize it and how do you provide them a safety net? Um, without limiting what people do. So you want permissionless, you want to be able to innovate. You don't want to slow down the pace of innovation, but you do want a certain safety structure there, a trust structure there. 